can't trust that guy. Obviously, because he just betrayed us. Huge dick move, man. Are they, are they gonna be able to make it? Duncan's still there! The king's still there! They're like one-shotting everything. Oh, damn, ogre. Wait, was it a troll? Or an ogre? I think it was an ogre. Oh, damn. He just ripped him apart in his hand, crushed him to death. Duncan's got this, though. Duncan's got it. Fuck yeah, Duncan. Uh oh. Yeah, the king, he, he, he didn't make it, man. He's hurt. Duncan is mortal. No. No, Duncan. I got hit too. <laughs> so, so, so we both died. <laughs> no, Duncan and me. Those were your best shots at victory ever. Duncan and me. That was it. Oh, hey. I, why am I naked? Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Uh oh. What's she been doing to me? Where am I? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. I, I guess, you are welcome, thank you. by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Neither am I. This is horrible. Of that I have no doubt. Your friend has been inconsolable since Mother told him the news. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. What What has she been doing to me? Yeah, I guess I have some questions for I you. I do not mind. Take your time. Why did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Coin is important to yeah. Thanks a lot. I am only being practical. I'm worth more than the king. Damn it! Are we safe here. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the darkspawn away. Once you leave, it is uncertain what will happen. The horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. How she managed to rescue us? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. That is interesting. You can just turn into a giant bird? The Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Nobody else survives. Why did Terran Logan abandon the king? I do not know who this Logan even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. You're not very... Okay, apparently I'm out of questions. Even though I just had more, I asked the wrong one, apparently. I agree. 
Tis time you speak with mother, then be on your way. Dunk new codex, Duncan. Last of the wardens. Duncan, he was killed in battle against overwhelming numbers of Dark Spine Ostagar alongside Keen Kalen. No, Duncan didn't make it. Duncan. Duncan. Give me the short bow. He didn't make it. Now it's just us. Key required. Give me the key. You must speak to Mother, then be gone. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and it would be best to get an early start. Of course. My injury is severe. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Okay, I will go then. I will stay and make something to eat. Good for you. You stay in the kitchen. We need to head out. Can I assume the throne five years ago? Alistair, how you doing, buddy? See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You? You're alive. Huh. I thought you were dead for sure. I cannot be killed by mortal means. It takes a... It takes more than a few darkspawn to kill me. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. You'd be dead. You I would have fought them off. Me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. Your name is not pretty. Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the witch of the wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? You must be very old and powerful. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, why did you save us? Well. We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? <laughs> the Grey Wardens are no more or less. Somebody else do it. The land is hardly united thanks to Logan. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. What is the Archdemon? Yeah, what is that? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Unlike you, who have lived it. Will you help us fight this blight? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. I just asked you and you well, knew. Whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the Dark Spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. Right. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If our Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Is this someone important? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Not the Landsmeet. Of course. We could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course. I totally thought of that before. Everyone will see the danger the Blight po poses, right? You could wait for the Archdemon to make its appearance. I imagine that might be convincing. It's been centuries since the last blight. Nobody will take it seriously until it's too late. Then there's nothing we can do. We'll find a way. It's up to us, after all. 
You have more at your disposal than you think. What do you mean? Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? <laughs> Why not? Isn't that what I do? Screw the Grey Wardens. I need an army. So you are set then. Ready to be Grey Wardens. Uh, we're going, old woman. Don't push us. No, as ready as we'll ever be. It's hard to be cocky. They're not giving me that option because I just almost died. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer. Your daughter? Is bubbling, my Whoa! Dear. Shall we have what? two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Oh, snap. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> what makes you think we want her? Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? Shut up, slut. You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. What? Re Wait, so... Damn, that's a lot of side boob we're seeing here. Consider this repayment for your lives, so... We owe her our lives, so she... Gives us her daughter? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Was this your idea all along? Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Fair Not enough. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother? This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. Oh, you you're ready. ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. So what you're trying to say is I'm important. I can I can understand that. She won't come to harm with us. Allow me to get my things, if you please. A, a shirt would be nice. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Wait, is this a woman actually saying that I can tell her to shut up? Uh... I have no problems with your presence. From the way he glares, I imagine that answer is clear. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Oh, get over yourself, Alistair. If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. I feel better already. Uh, do I still have questions? I may have answers. Ask. Are you really her daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Is what you meant, yes? It's just difficult to imagine her. Young, married, pregnant. Who said she was any of these things? I certainly did not. You ever been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. You're a stalker. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. They thought you were Mother a whore. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. 
Even she was not born here. What skills do you have, exactly? I know a few spells. Though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother, I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Guess what you get to do the entire time. No, she does have to cook. Then you can substitute for Alistair. Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. Also know at least fifteen different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. Oh. Oh, you bitch. Fine, how are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? Probably. That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. That's no good. I don't sense any dark spawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. Super. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me sneaky. something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. They're count farther in the forest. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. Interesting. All right, what about the village in the north? It's a small place of little consequence called Lothering. Lothering, no not Lothering. Stop along your imperial highway, where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. Fair I enough. would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I have no more questions then, I guess. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. <laughs> It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. Thanks for the confidence. I, all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. New quest, the Arl of Redcliffe, a paragon of her kind, nature of the beast, Alistair... Oh, damn, they both approve. Broken circle, holy crap... How many quests did I grab here? Apparently I can't do anything else, so I missed out on a couple quests. Jeez. Uh, I thought I could uh, uh, go back to the Kokari wilds and do some quests, but apparently I was wrong. What the hell is this right here? It says that I can do something here? I can save my game by taking a step. Uh, I don't see anything here that whatever that looks like it's going to do it for these parts of let's play dragon age origins i've been Molly scuba when we're back next time we'll head out and save the world one dark spawn at a time one side boob at a time hope you guys have enjoyed these parts hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching